Hey everybody, I am SimSweetie, and welcome to part 5 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Into the Future. So I have a couple things to address. I hope you guys like the new thumbnail. I thought it was about time, because we do have a new look for both of our Sims, even though they're not wearing it right now, because they're getting ready. Yeah. Oh, my volume is loud again. Did it reset my settings? No. Well, then I'm going to go turn down my volume. All better. Okay, so, yeah, and the other thing I want to say is that you guys are asking about All-in-One, and All-in-One probably won't be updated, updated, uploaded to, like, Sunday or Monday. Probably Monday, so keep on the lookout for that. This is my main priority right now. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. So everybody's pretty much just getting up and getting ready. I say everybody. We only have two Sims. Spencer and Evan are getting up and getting ready. And a lot of you guys were asking me why she looks so disgusted with her life right now. But um, a lot of you guys were asking me why Spencer's name is Spencer because she's a girl. And my reasoning behind that is that her parents thought that she was going to be a boy so they just stuck with the name that they were gonna name her and it's also a name of a girl in Pretty Little Liars. I've never watched Pretty Little Liars but I think Spencer is an adorable name so yeah. In this part I actually want to go back to Lucky Palms and then back to the future. Can we talk about movie references? <laughs> um, but, yes, yeah, so we can. I think I want to experience the dystopian future because, let me tell you, I love dystopian futures. That's basically like your Hunger Games kind of future. I'm like looking at my bookshelf right now. That's the only one I can think of. Dystopian. And then the utopian, I would say that's more matched, divergent. Actually, divergent almost fits into the dystopian. I would say Dauntless is a little bit dystopian. Yeah, the, the Dauntless faction, that's pretty dystopian. Yeah, dystopian. I was making sure I was saying that. Right. Don't insult her. Gosh. Okay. No. So I grabbed them both hoverboards, and I really, I want to try that. Actually, no, not yet. Don't try that out. I want you, nope, I do not want you to do that. I want you to, actually, no, it's not on your phone. I have no clue why I clicked it on her phone. Are you about all ready? You're gonna go wash the dishes. You are uh, you're such a good sim, Evan. So we have the time traveling machine right over here. And I want to have you guys both. Um, would you like your active household to travel back to the present? Except. So this is gonna take us to a loading screen in a minute here. But they're like, it's time to go back, guys. I'll miss you. See you later. Wee. I don't know why I said we. We. Spencer's over here in her bra and sweatpants giving everybody a Stop show. Oh yeah, let's go out on the deck. Let's go out on the deck half naked. Sounds nice, doesn't it, Spencer? It sounds fabulous. And we're at a loading screen, so I'll be back once this loading screen is finished. Yay, there goes. Oh. Gosh, nope, enough shaking screen. Okay, we're home. Whoa, did you see that thing? It, like, shot a thing in the air. That, that was descriptive, wasn't it? So we're back, and, like, no time has passed, and I'm sure they're both scarred for life. But, I'm not 100% sure how to do this, so we can trigger these events. So I actually want to trigger a dystopian future. So I'll read this. After decades of selfish and irresponsible decisions, Sims strayed trained oasis landing to the limit and beyond trash heaps block the sidewalks meteors pulverize the landscape and dangerous rifts have formed beckoning adventures to climb inside to find their treasures so yeah i want Smoky. you to trigger it because that's her lifetime wish oh and she also improved i forgot to tell you her advanced technology skill oh there's ant on my water bottle get off that get off get, get, get. Everybody panic. Okay, I have a Q-tip right here. Please get off. Please. No, no, no. Ah! I'm going to deal with that later. <laughs> okay, um, you want to change the future for the worse. Let's start with causing some destruction and mayhem. Mayhem? Mayhem. That's a word. The old magnet I have, I have shed do the trick by attracting meteors to the town. 
Take this meteor magnet and point it towards the sky to attract some meteors. It's bound to garner some, garner some attention. Objective, use the meteor magnet three times outside. Gain skill, advance technology. Okay, we're going to have her do that. Evan, um, he's still, oh, he's not in the bot building thing anymore? Oh, well. I guess we're just going to have him come and you can just like watch some TV or whatever. I don't know. He doesn't exactly have much of a hobby. Oh, our lovely time traveler is here. Um, maybe later. <laughs> I don't know. You actually really need to go use the bathroom before you go anywhere. Okay, my game froze for a second. Don't talk to him, please. Thank you. So we have this meteor magnet. So once we use the bathroom, I'm going to have her just go right here to this lakeside retreat, which actually would be a really nice place to build a resort. Just think about that. I know it's not Island Paradise, but I mean, this is, oh my gosh, you could totally build a resort here. That'd be so cool. Just saying. Hmm, who are you? Endora Kravitz. Creepily standing here. Cool. <clears throat> Hurry up using the bathroom, Spencer. Everybody's probably going to think Spencer's like a psycho when she shows up with this makeup and this outfit, but... Whoa, you're not loading up. Why do you still look so disgusted? Oh, because you're mean-spirited. I got it. What do you want to dream about? Dream about strangers. That's weird. Don't listen to her boasting. We ain't got to listen to her, Spence. Let's attract a space object. Because we're... I don't think Spencer really understands what she's getting herself into. She's never really read any books or anything on dystopian. Okay. She's never really read anything about dystopian future. She's just like, dystopian is totally a cool word. Blech. Dystopian is totally a cool word. Not world. Dystopian is totally a cool world. Word. I am, I've lost the capability to say the word, word in Spencer's voice. But she thinks that dystopian sounds like such a cool place. So she's totally going to go there. Look at that evil look on her face. Are we attracting anything? Whoa, whoa. Oops, I didn't mean to pause it. I meant to take a picture. I like the ice cream truck. Cool, cool, cool. You know. And Evan's, Evan's kind of in his own little world. Go use the bathroom. Evan doesn't know what his sister's getting him into. We got a tiny space walk. A tiny space walk. Duh. So, I'm gonna go take her down to the drinks at the... What's this called? Drinks at the Diamondbacks. And we're going to attract another meteor. Attract a space object once you get there. I don't think we can do it inside, though, boo. <laughs> I would recommend coming outside. Just, just, wow, just then. Everybody wants to talk with her. I'm pretty sure this is a glitch, but, like, everyone. Get out here. Get your booty out there. And then attract a space object. Why not? Okay, let's go somewhere where there's less stuff. Let's go to the Civic Center Park. What is that? Is that what it's called? Civic Center Park. Yeah, it is. Are you... You're having a water balloon fight. I need to stop questioning life. Um, you are not going to make a silly face at him. That is a tiny bit weird. We're going to attract him through space object. <laughs> cool, it's working. We just have to do it one more time. She is... She doesn't know, but she's doing something horrible. Spencer's like, this is so much fun! Is anybody here? Nobody's like even paying attention to the psychopath with a giant, giant magnet. You know, she's, she's dressed a little strangely, but that's okay. We got another space rock. Let's go one more place and do it. I don't know if we have to go to different places to do it, but I am, so deal with it. Oh, do we have like another park? Why is there like one park? Why not go to the graveyard? Let me check on you. Are you dead? No, you're not. That's good. He wants to go to the Utopia. You can see how these Sims are quite different. Why don't you just serve up some dinner? Serve up some mac and cheese. I know you're not going to be our Sim that cooks, but you really don't have anything to do, so 
She wants to dream about a vacation. I think we're gonna do that instead of dreaming about rushing water. Trying to attract a space object. This is a perfectly normal thing to do. And she's like, yeah, totally. Is it the meteor? Wait, no, we have to do it with her voice. Isn't the meteor magnet grand? I love using it to light up the night sky. I, of course you do. That's all Spencer thinks. She's like, I'm totally, like, making the sky so beautiful. Where did our opportunity thing go? Oh, I see. The League of Concerned Doomsayers. That worked better... That worked better than I thought. Not only did we change the Earth's gravitational pull to attract meteors, but a group called the League of Concerned Doomsayers sprung up. It looks like you're on the right track to changing the future. Go to their meeting and see how serious they are. Of course we're going to do that. We're going to go attend that. Then we're going to go home for the night. I'm sure she's getting tired. Um, we'll just say never. I'm fine with that. Please don't burn down the house, Evan. I am putting some trust in you. Everybody probably thinks they're dressed like insane people. He kind of blends into this house, actually. I didn't realize that. Oh, he's chilling. Hey, Emmett. You can't have our bed. Ask for sprite form. Hmm, that's cool. So, yes, this is just a rabbit hole. She wants to... Um, maybe we can, actually, we get to keep that magnet. Oh, we can make money off of that. Oh, and it's like, what's up? What's up? He could probably go to bed after that, but I don't know. I'd say he could stay up for a little longer. <laughs> He's all scanning things. This is a perfectly normal thing to do. Basically, I can use that. Like, that sentence goes for anything in this Let's Play. After this, he should just, you know, browse Holloweb be like, I'm sure he's in doubt. He's like, did I really go to the future? It was probably all a dream. It was just a dream. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, there's another ant on my desk. Nope, now it's on my desk. Get, get, nope, 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 nope. Not acceptable. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. It's all better. Nope, it's still there. Nope, 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 nope. Nub, 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 nub. Get off, get off. Please get off my desk, and I don't want to have to kill you. Just just climb off here. Climb onto this pencil, and then I'll take you. Please, it's like a little taxi ride. Please, please, please get off. Get off. I'll be back, guys. I took care of it. Okay. Fire in the skies. Great woolly llamas. They think, they really think the world is going to end. This is better than expected. I'm not sure there were enough people at the meeting to really start a movement. Go around town and spread the word that the sky is falling. Let's get everyone thinking the end is near. So you have to convince five, six, five. Wow, that was a number. Six sims that the sky is falling. Okay, well, we'll work on that tomorrow, because she needs to get home. Um, let's, let's say this in her voice. Thanks for attending the League of Concerned Doomsdayers meeting. I hope they at least had free coffee. What? I hope they had free coffee and donuts, at least. Cool. She's going to eat some mac and cheese. What does it say? Believes the sky is falling. Prophecies of the apocalypse have concerns convinced Spencer that the end is nigh. She's freaking out to the appropriate degree. The end is nigh. So after that, get to bed. After this, get to bed. Oh. Having fun? Mm -hmm. Oh no, there's a dance back! Okay, well, I'm gonna pick up in the morning. I guess Emmett's just gonna, like, hang out in our house, walk around and stuff, scan our pillows. Perfectly normal things to do. That's creepy. Don't scan our pillows. Go away. Go home. Good morning, and I don't know where I was going with that sentence. So, Spencer's getting ready. Then we're gonna have her go out and convince some sims that the sky is falling in this pouring down rain. Yes. <laughs> so, Summer Festival has an opening. She looks so cute with ponytails. Just saying. Well, I guess we'll wait till it opens. 
Opens at 8 a.m. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I really love how the living room turned out. Even though he's sitting through a pillow, it still looks nice. You can start getting ready. My dear sir. And you can continue eating your macaroni and cheese. That's what I had you eat. I was like, oh, that was my elbow against the table. Nope, no idea. I think we should have her... Why does she constantly want to attract meteorites? Or meteors, whatever they're considered. Like a weird person. So I actually want to change it to her everyday second outfit because she blends in a little bit more in that, so... Eh, okay. I'm stretching out my arm. So we're gonna go to the summer festival. Although I do love her futuristic outfit, it doesn't... What the... That was fun. Okay, well we're going here. <laughs> Get in the car. Thank you very much. And let's get out of our bikini. The point was to blend in and change it to our everyday um, current wear. I don't know. I was going to say, like, modern, but the future is more modern. Okay, let's wait till people get here, so just kind of hang a little bit. Your social is getting pretty low, so at least we'll have somebody to talk to. You know what I'm gonna do? That seems too loud. I'm gonna just turn this down. Okay, that's a lot better. Let's go give this person, Phoenix, a friendly introduction. Please and thank you. Oh, you're doing your job. You're not gonna stop. You won't even stop for Spencer? Wow. Is anybody, like, here? Where is the whole population of the town? We might as well get a spray tan while we're here. I like how everybody wants to talk to Spencer, and then when we want people to talk to her, nobody wants to talk to her. Mm. At least she's golden bronze. Can you change into your... I actually want you to go in your futuristic mm. clothes. I don't care. Mm. I love them too much. Oh. Is that your futuristic clothes? Oh. Wow, I look amazing. I could spend all day looking in a mirror. Well, you don't look so hot in your futuristic wear. She's like, hey guys. Whatever, you're cute. Seriously, where is everybody? Normally Sims start showing up. Once we come to a place. But nobody's here. So let's just show up. Oh, that looks so pretty. Should we just show up to random people? We could, like, convince our brother or something. I don't really know. Maybe we should just do that. Get over here. Well, actually, no. Come and skate. No. Come here. Why am I so indecisive? I know, tailing. No, 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 no. No, you're staying out. And you're waiting for people to come. So, why don't you just go enter an eating competition and wait for people to come? I guess Evan's here, apparently. Oh, you found someone? No, she's not gonna come dance with you. Gosh. Let's go convince Evan that the sky is falling. Oh, we're being impolite. Friendly, apologize. Friendly. Compliment his cleverness. Friendly. Shakabra. Friendly. Um, play rock, paper, scissors. Friendly. Um, I don't know. Give him a hug. <laughs> Oh, people are coming. <laughs> Stacy Wong. Okay, since we're sociab sociable, sociable, I don't know. We're gonna try that again. Whoops. 
What? Why? Why won't he believe us? Let's try her. Friendlier introduction. Vinza. Oh. Evan, gosh. Ah, of course, we're gonna get pretty uh, close I friends. That's quite our career. Ah, That's quite our alma mater. You know, I'm gonna do this off camera because it's gonna be really boring just me talking to people, so I'll be back. And I have successfully completed that. It basically took all day, but it says, and I'm reading it in her voice, great work. After you talk to the community, I've been hearing meteor talk on every street corner. And she just looks like, I'm doing so well at this thing. Anyway, we became best friends with this chick, by the way. Even though we'll probably never talk to her again. That's okay. Mm -hmm. So, she wants to go attract some space objects, but I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Trash talk the environment to six sims. I guess I'll do that. <laughs> Because it's just going to be more talking, and then I'll be back. Again. Yeah. Great. Now that it's 3 a.m., it is finally done. So, you were so convinced... Well, no, I have to read it in her voice. You were so convincing that, for a moment, I thought you really did despise the environment. Through careful planning and deliberate action, Spencer Layton managed to alter the future. Is there an ant on my leg? No, there's not. Sorry, my room is, like, infested with ants right now, so, like, just don't even talk to me. <laughs> um, so I believe it should now be in a day, a day, a day dystopian. A dystopian future, so we need to wake our brother up. He's almost fully rested, and Spencer is exhausted. Sure there's not an ant on me? I'm in denial. Nope, that is not an ant, that is a crumb. I need to learn these things. Whoa, oh, is someone coming through? Because what is this? Oh my gosh, it turns color for a dystopian future. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oops, I didn't mean to hit video. Maybe, if I could do the right thing, it would help. We're going to go travel to the future with Evan later and then... Oh. Um, except. This will take us to another loading screen, so how exciting is that? Get your butt out of bed, please. Oh, I like how this, our friend here is just still walking around the house. I need to go home now. Bye. Chat about cause and effect. No. Go to the future. Woman. And yes, okay, it's a loading screen. I'll be back. Okay, that was a failed squeal. Did you guys see that? That was amazing! Okay, our descendants are in the same spot. I believe everything is basically the same, but not... Oh, this is insane! I'm gonna end this part in a minute, but I really just want to see what's what's gone down. Oh my gosh, look how cool this looks. This looks all dirty and gross. and but Don't scare your brother. That is rude, Spencer darling. No. I want you to turn a celebrity from talking to other celebrities, so I might just... I kind of want to make her not a celebrity because... I don't know how much a fan I am of these... This whole celebrity thing. I feel like maybe we should talk to some of you. I don't even know, like, what do I do? <laughs> it looks like everything's almost exactly the same. Like, the room, but there's trash everywhere. We can go have her... Actually, we should have... Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to make you do that. Okay. We should have Evan do something. I feel like he hasn't done anything. I kind of want him to rummage, but that's going to make him smell, so... This is kind of crazy. Explore a rift. Oh my gosh, the water. The water is green! Oh. That is amazing! Oh, it looks so cool! It looks so cool. There's a bar over here. That is amazing. Are you still employed? He is. Good, good, good. Good, good. So fabulous. Apparently she's talking. Yeah. What are you waiting for? What on earth are you waiting for, Evan? Or didn't I tell you to explore this rift? Thank you. Whoa, what the? 
Evan, don't die, don't die, please. Evan? 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 Evan, you just climbed through the fire! Evan Layton didn't know what he touched in that geyser rift, but Evan has a not-so-healthy glow. Not-so-healthy glow. Evan is no doctor, but he can't. this can't be a healthy sign. His skin glows eerily and feels somewhat lightheaded. Let's get over here so we can see him. Oh, he is glowing green. He is glowing green. He's like, hey, what's up? What's up? I'm in the dystopian future. And I'm sure Spencer's just like, what's going on? I thought dystopian was like the name of an indie band or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's she's clueless. So clueless and innocent. Ooh, lag. Okay, well my game's starting to lag, so I think I'm just gonna gonna hut I'm gonna 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 I'm gonna go ahead and end this part right here and I will be showing off the dystopian future more in the next part. And yeah, I'll go ahead and talk to you guys later. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I love you. Goodbye. Bye.